on the starter's order, the starter walks off and we wait for the green light, red light to go off and go! Oh, wonderful start from Daniel but he's still in P3. It is um, Kyrie Zakaria, Zakaria from yeah. Kuzaini. Yep. Side, but Daniel Haikal is fighting, fighting into the hairpin. Will Daniel Haikal take the inside into the hairpin? He is right alongside Bike 47 into turn the hairpin. Very slow there from Kai Zakaria. Oh, look at that. Rear wheel. Oh, he overshoots the breaking point and Daniel Haikal takes P2. So, an early mistake from Kuzairi Kuzaini. gives Ahmad Daniel Haikal P2. And we have a rider down. Into the lead, it is still Kai Zakaria from Daniel Haikal. Kuzaini has dropped down. Big mistake there from Kuzaini at the infield sessions. Allowed Daniel Haikal to get P2, but we will be fighting back. Can Daniel Haikal put in a good lap and close up on race leader Muhammad Kai Zakaria? There was a 50.793 from Daniel Haikal on the opening lap. Daniel Haikal now hunting down our leader by number 32, Kairi Zakaria. Let's see if he can redeem himself. Yeah, a really strong infield there from, from Kairi Zakaria. His mistake in the Super Roko race. So yes. Kuzaini is still holding on to P3, however, falling behind slightly. In fourth, you have Zafir Zakasha, yeah. and in fifth, yeah. Mohamed Shafiq. Uh, here you go, there is another strong lap from Ahmad Daniel, a uh, 48, that's 0.3 a second faster than Mohamed Kai Zakaria. They are closing up, but there is still a long battle hit. It is only lap 2 of 12. Daniel Haika pushing hard at the moment. It is a 12 lap race, we still have 10 more laps to go. The battle for P1 is on at the moment between Kairi Zakaria and Ahmad Daniel Haiga. Kuzaini in third. Zafir in fourth and Mohamed Shafiq in fifth. The legend for the All-Stars legend in P6 at the moment is Kenny Lee with Jin Chia in seventh. Another fastest left from Daniel Haikal, 47.942. He is shadowing Kai Zakaria all the way. He gets closer, but can he make a move into the hairpin? It is Daniel Haikal chasing, hunting down Kai Zakaria into the hairpin. Gets close, really, really close, but not close enough to make a move. Yeah. Oh, but he does. He does make a move on Kai Zakaria. Kai Zakaria, bad exit there from the hairpin. Daniel Haikal takes the lead into the infield, but they are really, really, they, it looks like they're stitched together. <laughs> yeah, it looks like, I mean, Daniel Haikal is not wasting any time at all to get past Kairi Zakaria and take the lead for the first time here in race one. Let's see if Kairi can uh, regain position from Daniel Haikal. Both riders still are very close to one another as they hit into turn one. Eight left to go, very close race leader. Meanwhile, in P3, it's a lonely ride for Kuzaini. He has no chance to catch up to them. It is still Daniel Haikal from Muhammad Kai Zakaria. This is where Daniel Haikal sent the lead earlier when Kai Zakaria had a very slow end exit. Daniel Haikal trying to pull away, trying to get a clear lap. But still, Kai Zakaria is still shadowing him. So at the moment, I see that Bike number 5, Zafir has dropped off. He was actually in P4, so he has dropped all the way to P8. And right now, Muhammad Shafi, the advanced rider, has taken over P4. And legend Kenny Lee has moved up to P5. Looks like the race leader, they have a 3 second lead over Kuzaini, who's now 8 seconds ahead of Shafi Ashraf. Shafi Ashraf, a lonely fall for him. But we have a battle for the legends. Anything Daniel Haikal does, uh, Kai Zakaria retaliates because their lap time is only 0 0.4 seconds away from each other. Yep, Kai Zakaria sticking uh, to the rear tyre of Ahmad Daniel Haikal at the moment. Try and they're ca catching up to a back marker as well, Link. Back marker there. I think that 
is one of the legends riders. So Muhammad Daniel has just got passed by uh, Ahmad Daniel Haika and Kairi Zakaria. So still the battle for P1 between both very experienced uh, supermoto riders. Daniel's really putting, I mean, Kairi Zakaria really putting the pressure on Daniel Haikal. They're coming up to back markers. This may disrupt their flow of Daniel Haikal unless the back marker move away. But look at that. I think they right are now really they are, close. They are closing in on Okabing in the front. So Okabing currently running in ninth position. Oh, that left. was really close. I think Kabing wasn't aware of Daniel being right on his rear tyres. Yep. But it is a clear. They go clear Kabing and. On to the next one for Daniel Haikal and Kairi Zakaria. Still nothing separating the top two riders at the moment. With Kairi Zakaria trying to go around the outside there eh, for a moment. I think that's as close as they have ever, ever been <laughs> at the happy. Hopefully Daniel Haikal can handle the pressure coming from Kairi Zakaria because we've seen him make a couple of mistakes under pressure. He's, he's got five laps to hold off that pressure from uh, Kairi Zakaria and so far he's doing fine. But let's not put the commentator's curse on him. <laughs> yeah, so looking at the advanced category, you have Mohamed Shafiq in fourth. And for the All-Stars legend in leading the way is Kenny Lee in sixth position. So strong uh, right from both Shafiq and also Kenny Lee. And in who's managed to move up is Cairo Amirin. So he started from 7th and is currently running in E5. Just, just to know how close they were, their last lap, Daniel Haikal did a 48.219. Kairi Zakai did a 48.296. That's how close our top two riders are right now. We're coming down to the last couple of laps. We're going to see if Kairi Zakara is waiting to make his move on Ahmad Daniel Haikal. Because we can't really tell at the moment what sort of strategy each rider With three is laps to on. go. So here we go. Looks like he is gaining on Ahmad Daniel Haikal. Trying to find the best. The best overtaking spot to make his move on Ahmad Daniel Haikal. I think it's crucial for Daniel Haikal not to uh, lose too much concentration on, especially the infield where they're really, really close to each other. We are coming out on the last uh, right hand hairpin onto the last corner. Daniel Haikal is able to open a slight gap, but Kai Zakaria is hounding him. It's like, uh, it's like his shadow, literally. Yeah, at the moment. Any mistake can cost Daniel Haikal the win here in race one. He has to stay focused with two more laps to go. And you know what I say about Shadow Ling? Both of them did exactly the same lap time in the last lap, a 47.786. So things are exact same lap time. Things are looking identical at the moment for Daniel Haikal and Kairi. I think they are coming up on another bank marker, so that may be. A risky situation for Ahmad Daniel Haikal. Here we go, race leaders. I think that is Keith Chia, one of the legends rider right in front of them. Here we go, race leader across the line. And this is the last lap. This is this is it. If Kairi Zakaria wants to make a move, this is the time here for him to make a move. Showing the legends that is bike number nine, Kenny Lee. So we're gonna go back to the leaders in the front. Last lap, race leader. So as they come around, I think. Oh. Kairi Zakaria, Kairi Zakaria has snatched the, the lead from, from Daniel. Daniel ah, yes. It is a win for Kairi Zakaria. So he snatched the lead from Daniel Haikal on the last lap. Uh, we missed the action, but that is it. That is the result for Heat 1. It is Kairi Zakaria from Daniel Haikal.